Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems, and I have just a few minutes to take you through my five top favorite things about Dreamweaver and Flash CS5. So let's start off with Dreamweaver. What I'm going to do is, and you got to keep in mind, I'm not really a web guy, so anything that the products can do to make my life easier is going to be welcome for me. So for example, I'm in a web page here that's been designed inside of Dreamweaver, and what I like to do, of course, is I can always look at the code, and, and that's great if you're a coder. You can even do a split view. But what helps me now as a designer is I have two new views that are enhanced inside of Dreamweaver CS5. I can do live code, which as I hover over things will allow me to see what the code is. More importantly, with live view, now, for example, when I interact with these elements over here in my basically my browser now, I can actually go in and hover over something to see exactly where that is in the code. So when I click on something that shows me what that item is, shows me the rollover, takes me to that spot, so I can begin to learn what's going on behind the scenes. All right, so the second thing, and this is probably the one that I'm going to use the most. I write a blog, terrywhitetechblog.com. And on my blog, it's a WordPress blog. And of course, blogs are basically dynamically served from a database. So while it's great to be able to go into an easy interface and create the post, what I'd love to be able to do is work with the content, the template, the design, the CSS, without having to hand that off to somebody different all the time. So now I'm actually connected live to my blog server. That's right, I'm, I'm actually connected to the server live. And of course, when I look at the index page, well, it's not very much here. And if I go to design view, there's really nothing there because a blog pulls everything in dynamically from a database. But now inside of Dreamweaver CS5, I can go in and check out live code. Let's do a split view and I'll do a live view. And what it's doing is it's pulling in all the supporting elements to make this blog actually happen. And even when I go to click on something, again, because of the live view and live code, I can actually experiment with my CSS, with my design, and see it live, even though it's dynamically generated. So those are two things right off the bat that I love about Dreamweaver CS5. Now let's pop over to Flash. And what we're going to actually, before we go to Flash, there's one more thing. Let's go back to that index page. I just forgot something, and that is the third thing in Dreamweaver is the ability to preview my design in various browsers on various platforms. Now, I'm a Mac user, but of course, I want my content to be viewed and to be viewed appropriately and properly on Windows and other operating systems and browsers as well. So I'm in Safari right now on the Mac. If we pop over, uh, there's a new panel here that says Br Adobe Browser Lab, and I can actually preview my content in Browser Lab. So let's pop over to the browser, and here it is in Browser Lab. And what this allows me to do is not only test and look at my content, but more importantly, it lets me choose not only the browser, but also the platform. So even though I'm on a Mac right now as we speak, I can see what this content would look like in Firefox 3 on Windows XP. And I can look at lots of different browsers and lots of different operating systems. And more importantly, I can even do a side-by-side -side view. I can compare what it looks like in Firefox versus Internet Explorer. You know what? I'd really like to see it compared against Safari 3 on OS 10. Well, I kind of see some differences, but what does it really look like? Well, I can actually go in into an onion skin view that will overlap them, and I can really see how much shifting is going on. So another great tool for a designer is to be able to look at your content without leaving your machine and setting up all these different operating systems and browsers. You can do it now, integrate it directly from Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 into the new service, Browser Lab, which is a part of the CS Live services. Now let's pop over to Flash. And in Flash, being a uh, being a InDesign user, I'm very excited about the new support for taking the interactivity, which if you watch my InDesign video, you've seen this spread where I had the train come in and the car come in. Well, I exported this out as a flaw file, which is a Flash professional uh, document, and I was able to bring it in and maintain all of the, my library elements here, all of my assets, everything that was created inside of um, 
inside of InDesign, and I'm able to bring that content over and have all of these spreads as frames. However, let's actually get to the third thing, which that could have been the third thing, but I'm actually even more excited about just keeping some of that rich text design that I did inside of InDesign. So if I double click, I can keep drilling down to the actual text, and more importantly, here if we click out one more time here and go to our, our selection tool, we can see that there's linked text going from frame to frame to frame, just like you would in InDesign. I can even continue that text to a new location, and of course, I can go in just like I would in InDesign, make an, make an element bigger to suck up that text or make that text fit, or you get the idea I can go ahead and combine it and push it to uh, have it not fit. So just like in InDesign, you have the same text abilities. So now let's take a look at the next thing. So let's go ahead and look over here where I've got another flash document. So we saw the fourth thing. Now we're going to look at the fifth thing. And this one is just, it just blows me away. So for example, when I scrub this timeline, we basically can see that we have some signposts that fly out and then stop abruptly. Well, in the real world, unless those were very rigid, they wouldn't stop like that. Even You've seen signposts blow in, the, in high winds. So what I want to do is invoke a command that will allow me to have those signs not only stop, but wiggle a little when they actually stop. Well, if you remember, let's go to our properties here. If you remember in CS4, we had this great bone tool. And the bone tool basically allowed me to go in and twist and turn things. Well, now we've added inverse kinetics or kinetics to go in and uh, allow me to actually control that the way it would look in real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a spring of 80 and a dampening of 20. And we'll just, to compare, we'll do a different one here. We'll do a spring of 50 and a dampening of 30. I'm just making up these numbers as I go along. Now we'll go ahead and back the timeline up and we'll just hit our enter key to play that. And not only do our springs bounce or our signs bounce, but they will eventually slow down and stop. And again, that's all controlled by what you put in the properties for the spring and dampening. So that's it. You've seen my top five favorite things for Flash and Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver and Flash, CS5. And of course, you can always see more of my videos on Adobe TV, creativesuitepodcast.com, and terrywhite.com, which will get you to all of my sites, all of my links. That's it. Hope you enjoy Creative Suite 5.